spur of the moment type of thing, we just decided to get a box, go out, and try to register some people to vote. Meaning that you don't really have to have it all planned out. You can just get up and do it. So that's what we're doing today. We want to see how many people we got the registration form. As you can see, I'm going to get them. 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 Um, registration forms we got right here. So like I said, it's nothing big. You know, you got to have a big event. We just decided to get up one day and just go out and do it. So right now. The most important thing you can do in your life is vote, period. It is one of the absolute most important things you can do. So, if you've got an opinion on anything, I don't want to hear it if you're not registered to vote because you are not exercising the opportunity that you have to give your opinion. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, so, we're getting someone registered today. Yay! We stopped. Hey man, the sentiment out here in the streets is like this. So it's either we run into people who are already registered and going to vote, registered, don't know, or ain't trying to. That's right. So, happy to say that we got somebody. Underground, the radio revival, ice is in the house. If you get people to register, the vote is exciting. Um, most of the people say they're registered, so I wanted to just get that all out there that we are registered, uh, the community is registered, so we're having a good time out here. They're registering it and we're doing it big. And make sure you go out there and register to vote. We got two more days, October 9th is the deadline, um, so make sure you got two more days, really. Well, make well, sure you, you know, vote. Make sure you by the vote. Time they see so, they need to vote. By the time you see this, it'll be tonight, probably. But we need to make sure you go out there and vote. Um, so, this is good, though. Atlanta, I love you, baby. Wherever I love Atlanta. Go ahead. Everybody should vote because you want to see the right person in the office that's going to take us to the future. That's what's up, man. And never leave nobody behind. That's what's up, man. How you feel about everything, man? I mean, when it's all said and done, man, I mean, it's really all about, I mean, like, who really plans on looking out for the middle class and poor? Because, I mean, right now, y'all in the heart of the city, you know, and it's hey, I want a guy that ain't going to say what my sister ain't going to say on I mean, the camera. Like, it's just man. funny how the way they try to separate these streets. But it's one street. If you're going down this street, you're going to run into Gateway, all the homeless people laying down. Right, there. right. You got Georgia State, Federal Grade, right, right. things of that nature. So, I mean, it's like they try to hide the truth, but the truth is really in front of, you know, like really in front of your eyes, honestly, at the end of the day. So, uh, so you're not voting for anyone? Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that, but I mean, I'm just going to say that I'm going to continue to do my research so, I mean, I can make the best decisions. So, are you registered, though? Yes, sir. All right, I mean, cool. But, I mean, but also at the same time, it's not about Obama, it's about your mama. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thank you, man. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Obama got the little Obamacare plan, like the sister say. You can't even add Obama on Facebook as your friend. Uh -huh. How he care? You know? As soon as you put in his name, you ain't gonna add him. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not gonna say he a bad person or none of that. I just don't, you know what I mean? Politics, that ain't me. That ain't you. You can't even add it. I put like this. I'm not, I'm not gonna vote for either one of them. Because, like I said, like I was telling him, Obama, if Obama here, how come you can't add him on Facebook? Uh -huh. That's all I'm saying. I understand he got a job, and nine times out of ten, he's gonna get paid with or without her votes anyway. So if he really cares, we got all these people out here that need help. Mm -hmm. Where are they? Where, I mean, where's Kasim Reed? Mm -hmm. You know, where's the mayor? Where are they? 
they living fancy, we out here struggling still. Not to say they gotta take care of us, but I'm just saying, where are they when we need them? We can't call them on the phone and say, we need your help. We want on, we want one-on-one -on -one president, you know what I mean? So I'm not voting for Romney or uh, Obama. I'm not gonna do it. All right, thank you. I understand that, but it's like you struggling, but you're not doing nothing. Yeah, you can't get like no us. help if you're not doing nothing at all. That's like, like me. It's, it's like, like so much we can't do though. That, that's true, but we can't yeah, go like because as black people, world. the first thing we think is, oh, I ain't gonna get no job, so I'm gonna go on these streets no, and live. Ain't. I'm gonna go hustle. That's that, how I'm gonna get it. That ain't what we all think. But if we say we need help and we want him to help us. Come help us. But that's what he's trying to do. That's why he's trying to get back in office so he can help the people that well, low had class. Yeah, four years. Like, what, what did he do? What did he do for you? Try to help. What you mean? What did he do? What did he do for you? For me? Well, I can't really say like that because I ain't tried. Okay. That's why I can't say because I didn't try. I ain't going to lie. I, tried. I ain't going to sit and be like, oh, I tried to go do this thing because I did it. I tried and I'm still I tried trying. to get money out this street because a nigga want to be lazy at times. Nigga tried. don't want to work. Nigga don't want to go do that. But so I'm going to be on the that's street. That's you, but I tried and I'm still trying. I go for advocation in. I put advocation in online. I go into the place. I go to colleges and try to apply. But I mean, if they say a no, they say they say a no, then what you gonna do? You, what, ask the president for help? You can't call him one on one. The saddest thing about this country, every, in it, no matter where you go, no matter what you're doing, it take money to make money. That's exactly. even with trying to get a money job. You're going to have to but pay some money to swipe that card yeah, to get on exactly. Marta. What if you ain't got that shit, though? Out here, bro, we <laughs> blessed, bro. Because in other countries, motherfuckers can't eat, bro. You motherfuckers right? ain't got nowhere to sleep. Okay. Bro, we are, we are blessed to be born in America, bro. Okay, but that's like, the same uh, you might say you that's blessed. That's a blessing and a curse. You might say you blessed to be it's born cold. in America, but some of that's us are cursed. Some of us are blessed and cursed. Because some of us do try to get jobs and shit like that, but we still don't get it. That, I understand that. It's people, like, we have people on our streets out here. They live on the streets they don't have stuff but you gotta look at other countries people people that's on their streets they eat animals yeah, they, raw I mean, animals you know killing worse, animals on the ground they don't it's worse you know because, it's worse because, because they make because it get what this country my nigga and whether you know it or not they produce a trillion dollars worth of money exactly. every week exactly. every exactly. single week exactly. if you produce a trillion dollars like, worth of money every week why you got people sleeping that shit it, like exactly. gateway yeah, Women and they babies out here homeless and shit. You feel me? Come on, man. man. That shit ain't right nowhere around. Right now, if I need five dollars, just cause I keep myself up, that don't mean. Oh, oh I am at Salvation Army. I need y'all help. But at the same time, a pregnant. You say. Women and babies out there on the street. The woman laid down to make that baby. So it's her responsibility, regardless of the fact, to go, you know, try to try to help her child out. You know, you can't sit there and just try to get money from the government and not want to do nothing just because you had them kids. Now you think you want to get on goddamn, what's it called? Child support? You try to put your nigga on child support. Then that's how you gonna get the check. I don't have any kids, so I'm talking about a single, a single female for myself. It's even harder for a single female because a lot of people feel sorry for the people with kids. So of course they gonna get help. I'm a single female. If I ask anybody for five dollars right now, you think anybody gonna give it to me? No. Maybe you two will, but I'm just saying it's harder for a single female. So it's like you gotta have a, a baby or have yeah. something to get yeah. help from yeah. the Exactly, mm -hmm. that's how I feel. Wow. Yeah, about the same. I thank that's God for Obama, because if, if it wasn't for him. Well, let him be your God. He's not mine. No, 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 no. There is only one God. You can't tell me who my God. I know, I'm not trying to argue with God. you. Yeah, I, I ain't saying say Obama was nothing like understand. God. I said I thank God for Obama. Because if it wasn't for him, it, it would be a lot of stuff that we it, couldn't do. That, that's, that, that's on you then. Like I said, if you want to praise him, go ahead and praise him. I thank God for my mama. That's, that's the type of people, see, it's, it's people like that that make it so hard for us people as black people, bro. Because, like, we use so many excuses instead of just going out there like, fuck, and I ain't going to use no more excuses. I'm, I'm not, gonna get I'm it. A, but I'm going to let that's, him. I'm that's not making no excuses, but if you want to get into a debate, we're not Romney right. or Obama. So no. I think we just wasted our opinion. What? Kadeem was right on what he was saying. It's a lot. Oh, um, this Yeah. Misunderstanding. Misinformed. Sorry, man. You have to be, you have to be around for the people, for everybody. Sorry, man. They aren't into it. We apologize, man. Sorry, it's all good. I don't apologize. I still stand by my um, ending quote. Yeah. It's me. You want to oh. vote for a celebrity, vote for Rock. <laughs> uh, you want to go with the trans? Do that. That's what's up, man. Well, I believe voting is important.
important part of our society because if we don't do it, then what they're doing is relying on our future. So whether we have health care or not, that relies on them. And we have we I, we have the decision to make a choice. So why not do it? And to me, I'm more of a Democrat because Democrats are pro-choice. Republicans are just black and white. You have it's either this way or that way. It can only happen two ways. And Democrats, they believe you should have the choice to choose which way you should go. And Republicans, they just, I believe a person should be able to make their own choices, not the government make it for them. So if anything, we should have, in Democrat, like, in the Democrat world, we have more of a voice than we do in Republicans. That's what I feel. That's what's up. Um, I feel that. Mitt Romney, he's a fool because he's a because <laughs> we're gonna be like going to college in a couple of years and we need that financial aid because it's not free to go to college. And, yeah. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> like she said, voting is a very you know important part of society. If one person doesn't vote, the other vote goes to the other candidate. In my opinion, I think Obama should be president again because. Bush effed up the effed up America. And he cleaned it up. And Mick Romney. <laughs> I don't like him. Not because he's white. Because he I don't think he probably like all of it's just, it's just the economy's not like Democrat like Republicans can even like keeping the upper class rich and then leaving the middle class to fit for themselves and that's making more of the middle class become poor and stuff and that's what we don't need like right now if a republican if i believe a republican could do his job i would vote for a republican but at the time in our country we don't need no republican at all they're gonna fund big business they're gonna go for big business and hope that they do the well that makes us rich no democrats look at the middle they look at all classes all perspectives we can't just have no republican like that all right oh you, oh, you, you said hold on now I just want to see why I'm going for Obama. Alright, tell you why you want to. First of all, he's black. Uh huh. And second of all, he's, I mean, he's doing a good job. I don't see why people are putting him down because they say, oh, he's doing this and doing that. It makes no sense to me. He's, just, he's doing better than Bush, Clinton, all of them. Like, Clinton was like one of my best presidents, and he went and said Barack Obama is the best Democrat for the election. So, I mean, Bill Clinton, he had the best economy in the last what? some years or something like that with Clinton, so, I mean, if you're saying, I believe you can do it too, so, it's not like a black and white thing, it ain't none of that, but, I mean, you can't expect Obama to clean up Bush's mess in only four years. That's good stuff. But just smile. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, man, there you have it, our young people, they're talking, we getting them to talk, y'all hear it, they're going to be voting in the next two years. And we hope we have somebody in place that can, um, yeah. I can't be, I got, can't be biased. I gotta, I'm gonna get off the camera. All day. All day. Why, <laughs> why, why Obama? Why Obama? He the only one trying to help us out, though, to be honest with you. Okay. I mean, the Republicans, I mean, we gonna, I can't explain it, but all I don't know is that Obama all day, plus he's black. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> like I said, man, we just tried to hear the voice of the school. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Woo! 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 Black men do vote. Black men do vote. Hey! Hey! That's a t-shirt for real. Don't steal my idea, man. If I see y'all walk around talking to I think I came up with it. Yeah, you got it. He did say that. Oh! This is a good day. Very important. Yeah. That's all I need. I'm looking at the debate. Uh oh. Talk. Nah, I'd rather vote. Doesn't talk.
He's done! Right, I'm in that's that what age. I'm, that's what we can't get. Yeah. No, no, we can get the documentary. We really like that. Right. That, that people know what the streets are saying. Yeah, you can kill them. And then look at a, uh, a white woman back then. Yeah. I mean, that is. Kill the Mockingbird. Stuff, Remember King the Mock? Kill the Mockingbird yeah. film. That's yeah. real. That's her story. Yeah. It happened in Macon. That really happened. Wow. I mean, all the marches, you know, they did and all that, just to vote. Now look how quick it has gone down. Right. Nobody remembers nothing. All they care about is the dollar. Yeah. That's all they care about. This is they knowledge. materialism. This is knowledge. Now they want to run away and think they can go and run away with drugs and alcohol. But the escapism isn't there. Wow. It's with the spirit within you. Wow. And that's to vote and to remember all the people that thousands of blacks have died. Wow. To, to vote. Just to vote. Just to vote. Wow. Wow. Rock or vote. You vote, man? There it is. Rock or vote. Oh, that's right. There it is. You ready to vote? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. That's what we're doing, man. We just getting people doing, registered to vote, man. You're doing good. And um, making sure we only got a couple more days. That's so it. We're trying and to get Rodney's registered. every vote we can get. Because <laughs> man, they got a real scheme, Romney. He's scheming. He act like he don't know nothing, but no, now he's that. coming out, isn't he, brother? Oh, real him. <laughs> he's a fox, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he played dumb for around crazy till the debate. That's what fooled Obama, didn't it, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just run out of Dennis, and then when the bait came, right. he came, the real thing came out of him. Wow. Don't worry, he won't win the next bait easy. Yeah, yeah. He got to be on the attack now. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What, what we did today, um, was we took a Uh, to actually go reach the people because the people are not going to the booths. You have to go to them. The same thing applies for the churches. But we have to go to where the people are. They're not interested in going to a booth to, um, to register to vote. You have to go to them, bring it to their face, find out why they're not voting, and, and create a dialogue. And you'll be amazed at the people that will say, you know what, I haven't registered. Let me get registered. But we have to bring it to them. It's good stuff. Well, y'all, we just got done. I'm tired. Um, we riding through downtown still. Um, it was a great day. Um, ran into a lot of people. Had a lot of great discussions about voting. Opinions. Got a, and got a, uh, a lot of opinions. Um, and it was good. You know, we got a couple of people to register to vote. And I'm just thinking, I told my agent, like, imagine if we had a bunch of people out with voter registration information, um, you know what I'm saying, to vote. And it was it was easy, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, even if they didn't want to vote, they still had a good discussion, a good opinion, even though it may have been wrong or out of the ordinary or wrong, um, due to just not knowing. Misinformation. Um, misinformation, yeah, misinformation, I can't talk. But um, it was awesome. So uh, the Love Movement, the Radio Revival, make sure you tune in Monday and Thursday. This is what we do. Six o'clock. You can be a part of change. You have to you have to go out and be the change that you seek. Peace.